Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I am going to do a piece on this 16 inch round Convexo canvas. That's just the name of it. The brand is Fredericks. Um, you can get it on Amazon. You can get it at uh, Jerry's Artorama. The fantastic thing about this is it has these rounded sides. So you're work's not going to just stop at the edge there and i'm really excited i found out about these from um manon pettit art <laughs> so i'll put a link to her channel down in the description check her out and then i'm going to be using a one of my uh 16 ounce triple split cups so it's got four compartments and of course mixed media girl pouring paint i'm going to use kind of a strange combination today of pinks and yellow it just spoke to me for some reason. So I'm gonna do some lighter colors in this side with white and this is um, the pearl pink, which is a nice, really light pink. I don't need to fill up this entire cup. I'll probably need maybe about 14 ounces. I'll fill it up most of the way. And then I'm gonna use some gold over here as well. Um, then I'm going to use some hot pink. This is the electric pink. Yeah, fill that up to about where the white is. And then we're gonna use some Razzle Dazzle. This is like a deep magenta. And then the final color in here, we'll do some deep sea, which is a really dark blue, like a really dark navy blue. And I'll go ahead and start the next compartment off with the deep sea as well. I'm gonna use a couple more metallics. So I'm gonna have a few metallics in here. So this one is the Golden Sun. Now that is kind of a crazy cell creator. And I'm thinking putting it right next to that blue will give us some beautiful greens. And then this is Chocolate Magic. So it's a metallic brown. Start the next compartment with the Chocolate Magic. And then we're gonna finish this off with some more pink. Do the hot pink again. And maybe some more white in this final one. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all my bottles out of the way. I'm gonna make sure all my compartments are filled up to the same amount. A little more razzle dazzle in there. Let's do a little more of the, just tiny bit more of the pearl pink in here, just to fill it up. Okay. Now I don't plan on actually spinning this out on the Lazy Susan. I just want to spin as I pour. So it's not held down or anything. I'll just show you. I just taped some sticks on top of here to hold this canvas. And then basically I'm going to pour right in the middle. We're going to do a straight pour and I'm going to just carefully rotate it as I go. I may end up spinning it out. We'll see. But for now, I just think this is going to be a really pretty color combination. And I'm thinking we might also get some really fun cells with that golden sun. It is such a beautiful color. And I don't know why it kind of struck me today to do pink and yellow. But that just seemed like a good idea. So here we go. spinning this out. I might tilt it a bit first. I'm um, just to kind of even it out. And 
then maybe we'll spin it at the end there. Definitely happy with these colors. And overall pretty bright. We've got the couple little bit darker colors in there, the deep sea and the chocolate magic. Okay, I think as long as I can kind of center this a bit, this canvas is heavy enough that as long as I don't swing it too hard, I think we should be fine to spin it without any tape or anything. Let's try this out. If it seems to be too off center, I might have to tilt some more. Yes, let's do that. Let's bring it back this way a bit. And we'll spin it just a little more. <laughs> awesome. I think that's perfect. I'm going to leave it. So of course it's gonna to continue to roll off. We'll lose a little bit more of that yellow, but I did get what I wanted in here, which is this beautiful kind of golden green, which I think is awesome. So I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Look at this gorgeous pink and golden sun com combo over here. So pretty. We even got a little bit of purple in there, which was the, uh, the pink with the deep sea blended in there. There's the chocolate magic. Like, look how awesome those edges are. And then I'm just very happy with these colors. Probably could have used maybe a little bit less dark, actually. I might have gone a little crazy on the deep sea and the chocolate magic, but I think it is awesome. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, please let me know down in the comments if you think that I should resin this piece once it's dry, I am leaning towards yes. I think that might look totally awesome on here. But let me know what you think down in the comments and I will see you all next time.